Hey guys, it's your girl Bougie Bree. Welcome back. Thank you for joining me. You could be anywhere in the world, but you choose to be here with me. And guess what? I love that shit. Um, today I am doing a collab with a good friend of mine here on YouTube. Um, we're going to Monica from Matt Beauty. Uh, I reference her quite often on my channel. Um, I decided I wanted to do a collab and I wanted to do something with Monica. And she was like, hell yeah. So I, we came up with several ideas and the one I threw out is the one we're about to talk about. A little bit about Monica. I really don't remember how we connected. I have no clue. Um, I am significantly older. I think I'm like 15 to 20 years older than Monica. I'm 41. Um, but I remember when I would watch her, how I loved her voice. I loved how soothing her voice was. And she just seemed like a kid that had her shit together. Not kid, but younger than me. Um, that had her shit together and that was doing something with her life. Um, she seemed to have purpose where a lot of people her age are just kind of like floating around trying to figure it like she has a goal and she was going towards it uh, successfully at that. And so I really was like, hell yeah, this is my kind of person. So uh, the tag we're going to do today is palettes I have fallen out of love with. Uh, at one time or another was my jam and they're no longer my jam at all. So that's what we're going to talk about. Um, <laughs> And some of these I still have, like, uh, you're not going to see pictures. I have all of them. <laughs> but some of them I am selling. If you don't know, for reference purposes, I have over 900 eyeshadow palettes. Take a second. No, she doesn't. Oh, my God. That's wasteful. Okay. So you're done with that, right? Okay. I do have over 900 eyeshadow palettes. So by the way, Monica's video will be linked below. Um, I have a, like, very systematic way of, like, counting how many I have. I use a spreadsheet that I found on Reddit um, for like a, like to like catalog how what you're what you have in your collection, and so I will list that down in the uh, down in the collection um, down the down in the description because it shows me everything that I have in different categories, highlighters, bronzers, all that kind of stuff, as well as my eyeshadow palette is divided by luxury, high end, high end indie, all that. So it also has the MSRP total now. I may have not paid for MSRP. I may have paid a dollar for it, but I always go and research what the MSRP of the palette was. And at this point, I own MSRP $35,000 worth of palettes. Now, I know you don't believe that, but if you have 900, <laughs> I mean, all you gotta do is a little math to figure out. And I have, you know, a lot of Pat McGrath, all of Natasha Denona. So, I mean, it's gonna add up. Again, MSRP. So, <clears throat> anyway, let's talk about the first one that I fell out of love with, and this one hurts a lot. This was my first high-end palette that I ever purchased. Um, purchased it from uh, Ulta. The Ulta on Kirby, and I can't remember. Um, and here in Houston. Um, somebody suggested it, and I purchased it, and I panned it. Like, this was when I had, like, five palettes. I panned it and I purchased a new one and guess what? Not even swatched, yo. This is, I feel fucking horrible about this shit. This is bad. So, uh, but I still hold on to it because it was the beginning of all of this. This makes me happy. It brings me joy, like the Kamari method. It brings me joy. Um, thinking back on like how I started all this, I was a, boot, you know, a, you know, neutral bitch, for real, real, for real. Like, that's neutral. And the next several are neutral. Um, because that's what I thought I was supposed to wear. Now, if you knew me in real life, I'm very different and not outgoing, but I just kind of do what I want to do when I want to do it. The nails, the hair, the makeup. And I'm not a 41-year-old woman dressed like I do. You know, have piercings like I do, have tattoos like I do. Not a lot. Um, and still go to work every day and function. So I thought I had to dress the part for what I do for a living and now I just don't care. Um, the next two are by Tarte. This is Tartlet in Bloom, same thing, panned it, bought another one and no nothing. I know it's a shame. It still smells like chocolate. And this one, I can't remember when I purchased, but this one was, an, was used again for work every day as well as its partner in crime. This is the first warm tone palette I own. Ah, this is a Tartlet Toasted. I repurchase. Never have I used it. Don't say anything. 
Now, the next one, this hurts too. Um, I use this as my, what is it, pan, pan that palette for a year or whatever. Pan the shit out of it. Repurchased it. It looks like it's been used, but it hasn't. Like these have tape over them because they were crushed in the shipment. Queen of Hearts by Colored Rain. I love this brand. Black owned business all the way, but I don't use it. So I don't know. <gasps> Did that just happen right now? I'm gonna have to go back and play that. One of the shadows just fell out. This one right here. This one right here. Holy shit. Okay, we're gonna deal with that in a second. So that is God telling me this has gotta go. That's, I mean, I take signs like that seriously. Like, okay, okay, Brie, like this one, can, I can give this to somebody and they will be okay without that shade. That fucking sucks. Shit, I mean, did y'all see that? I'm gonna go back and play it in a minute and see if y'all see that. Um, damn, I'm let, let it go. Another um, brand that I was really into for a long time and I collected and I no longer collected, by the way, just get out of that collecting shit. Don't do that shit. I do that with Natasha Denona. That's the only brand I collect from. Don't try to collect everything from everybody because it's, it's a waste of money. You'll find out that you don't use any of this shit. I had this, the Masquerade palette from Juvia's Place. I had the large one. I hit several pants and so I bought the smaller one and what do you see there? Not a goddamn thing. I mean, I haven't, I've had this since, oh my, February of 2017 and I've never used it. No, no bitch, no, that's bad. <laughs> okay, the next one, um, this one is, I don't, I think I'm gonna throw this away and I'm not one for throwing things away, but this is the Emerald palette from Emerald Obsessions from Huda. Let me show you what I'm about to show, I'm about to show you these four. Those are the shadows. They're weak as hell. And I swiped, sw swiped them, swatched them twice, like on each one. It's not even worth selling to somebody because I don't want, here's the thing, my mom used to say, don't give a present that you wouldn't want for yourself. And so I don't sell stuff that I wouldn't want for myself or that I wouldn't want you to sincerely have just to make money. Like, no, 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 it's not that important. Um, the next one. <sighs> I have tried to try and try and try to love this brand. I don't know why everybody goes on and on about it. This is the Novel Poison Garden. This is the first one I got, and then I got the Dreamy and Dreamy 2. I got rid of those. Just super disappointed with this one. I fell out of love with the brand as a whole, um, and I've used it once, and I did not like the look. I don't like the texture of the, the shadows. or <laughs> It's super dry, like super chalky, fallout. So this one, this brand I fell out of love with. So that's that. This one was hard too, but it is true. I fell out of love with it. And it's not because it was a bad palette. It's because I already have this stuff. This is the Lunar Beauty Life's a Drag. I have this in my Vivid Pigments and I have this in every other palette that I own. That's all there is to it. I mean, it's not a bad palette. It's actually for his first palette, because if you haven't tried Manny's palettes, they're very, very well made. Like, no, 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 no exaggeration there. Um, they're very well made. I love them. I have most of them, except, no, I even have his latest one. Um, I can't even remember what I have. Isn't that a fucking shame? But this one, like, they're great. I just have this already. A thousand times. I mean, that's great. But I have my big pigments from Colored Rain right here. And I use, if I'm gonna use color and for a match, this is what I use. And you can tell I use the shit out of this. So I don't really need it. And it's a good palette that somebody else can use. So let somebody else use it. Okay. Another one at one time was my Jizam and I don't know why. Uh, I, I have a couple of smoky palettes that I really enjoy. One of them is the Obsession, is it Obsessions? Yeah, the Smoky Obsessions. I really enjoy that palette. Um, and then I have one that I made myself. Um, and then I have a, a couple other. Oh, the Naked 2. I like that palette too. But this one, this is a Kat Von D Interstellar. I don't, I don't, I don't fucking know, guys. 
what am I doing with this? Am I going to like Transylvania? Am I a vampire? What the fuck? I have no idea. I don't, and, and like shadows have evolved tremendously since this. There were just, there was no metallic, you know, consistency to any of the shades. This is supposed to be the metallic one, the one on the, this one right here over this way. I mean, it is shimmery, maybe, but it's definitely not metallic. And so, it's going. I used to love, I do love Kat Von D. Now, I did keep the Monarch palette, because I do like that palette. This is a brand that I fell out of love with, and this is the reason why I fell out of love with it. Um, I'm cleaning it off as we're talking. This is the Riviera palette from Out of Slash of Berkeley Hills. The last palette I bought was the Carly Bible, or the Amrezy. Amrezy was the next one, the one after that. I'm not going to be purchasing any more from Anastasia. I did like the Alyssa Edwards palette. Loved it. I did a um, video called This or, Rat, this or That. I'll link it somewhere. Um, where I compared the two palettes. Uh, and the Alyssa Edwards palette was a ton better. I wore this one for a day. I wore the Alyssa Edwards for a day. And I've only, I had only used this once or twice. No, 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 no. Yeah, once or twice, and I'd worn the Alyssa Edwards a lot more. And if you cannot see how trashy it is, it just falls apart, and I do not like this palette. So I'm done uh, buying Anastasia palettes. I'm done with it. This one's hard, too. This is a Serpentina palette from Kat Von D. Now, I do have the Profit shade. Where the hell is it? It's right here. I do have this one. I love this. This is really great. Um, but this is the palette. And then, you know, everybody complains about like all shimmer palettes. And I used to be like, what's wrong with all shimmer palettes? I don't really like um, all matte palettes because I never do all matte looks. But I can get why well, you're very, very limited. Um, with, there's only two mattes in there and they're not really, they could be satin. I just, I'm done with it. And the last group, this is a group. And I think I'm done with these palettes also. And it sucks. I'm done with Makeup Revolution. I'm done buying all their shit. I don't know why I keep buying their shit. I don't know why. And I don't know why people go on and on and on. No, I'm done. Now, this series I did really like. This is the Precious Stone series. This is the Diamond one. I do like these palettes. I just, I'm done with Makeup Revolution as a whole. And so, I'm going to be selling these three. This is the Emerald... Oh shit. And then I, I, I don't, I just, I can't. I've bought so much Makeup Revolution stuff. Now, I do like their foundation, but they changed the foundation range and the numbers, and I don't have time to guess shit, so I'm done with that. This is my favorite, this is the Amethyst. I don't, I get that they're affordable, and but there's still stuff that's affordable um, that's better quality and lower price than their stuff. Their stuff is just bad. Same, and it's just telling on the, on the subject, I don't buy uh, NYX palettes anymore at all. Not any, no, 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 unless they are on Supercell. Now I did buy that the big, some of the big ones that were 30 fucking dollars, whatever the fuck they were. I did buy some of those, but um, I've got them on like a Supercell and I use my Ulta dollar, so no, no, no. Um, but I don't buy any other NYX palette. They're all trash. I don't buy Milani palette, just, just save your money and buy a nice nice palette. That's my suggestion. Okay, guys, that's it. That's all I got to say. Um, like I said, check out my girl, Monica. So let's give her another shot right here. Uh, from Matt Beauty. I'm really grateful that you guys would spend some time with me. And thank you to Monica. I really appreciate your friendship. And, you know, when I started talking to her, I'm thinking, like, she thinks I'm just weird as bitch from Houston. And she was right. So <laughs> I hope you guys have a great day. Feel the waves cut through me, hypnotized by the sounds I breathe, dripping lights, paint the sky.